Yo yo people Decepticon here from Vex Elite and welcome to a very special video explaining all the info you need to know for the Summer of Wonder in DCUO. Now obviously it's not quite an event, it's just a load of stuff what's happening all throughout the summer and some things which will be coming a little bit later. We have got quite a lot to show you and talk about. We've got a new emblem, we've got some new PvP stuff, um, the new capsules what are dropping, a couple of new skins, some new auras and we're even going to show you the new CEO of DCUO. But the first subject we're going to talk about, I ain't really got nothing to show you on this one, but it's literally the open episodes are now up. That's what that little update was yesterday. So anyone who literally ain't got Legendary, jump on there, and you will have one month roughly of Legendary on your account. It's not quite Legendary, it's just everything is opened up for you. It is double reset times, so certain things will take longer, and it runs out on August the 21st. That is August the 21st, people, so make sure you jump on that. Now next up, we have got the brand new Wonder Woman emblem. There you go, you can change the colour of this, it's not colour locked. Now as soon as you activate that, you will activate a double XP. I'm not sure how long you get it for, I think it's only a couple of days, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Not bad. Now our next one is we've got some of these new auras to show you. This is the red mist, everyone's been asking for the mist auras, so here you go. Any of you rage blockers, <coughs> sorry. Any of you rage players, this will look absolutely amazing. Then we got the yellow one. I actually like that. It, it moves different. The movement on it is just so much better than the red one. To me, it is anyway. And the green one is, yeah. If if you like green auras, I don't think it'll beat some of the red ones. Some of the green ones were out there, but there you go. Right next, we have got the future Batman skin. Now this will be dropping in these new time and space capsules, what I'll be talking about in a minute. But look at that, how good does that look? It is from the actual DC Euro trailer thing, if you've ever watched the second part, you get to see the armour. You know, look, you see a bit better on the woman. But I really like that, I think that looks mean. There you go, bulk, something for you to collect. Now these time and space capsules are really quite smart how they're working. They really are, they are free to everyone. And literally you'll be going around the game, like how you get Promethium lock boxes, these boxes will be dropping. Now you, there will be an event coming up soon where you can get three keys to unlock them or you can just buy the keys from in-game. As you can see, them four items on, on the bottom, they've all come out of one box. And you can get some decent little stuff. You've got emblems, you've got collections, um, and these different their style stroke armour pieces. Now what they are is like that future Batman one. If you're level, I don't know, you'll see 110 for example. When you equip one of these pieces, it will go to a 110 dude. So it'll be roughly, do you know what I mean? It's worth wearing. It's not just a style, it will be an armor as well. And I think that's quite clever. They've got some real good ideas, yeah? And a few little good little bits there. Some of the emblems, all the lantern emblems. For any of you people who like Ganders the Lanterns. Me, myself, I only ever wear the ring. Right, next, the big one, the PvP stuff. Now this is just a screenshot of all that I was willing to show you. So this is the new corridor of the PvP map. Now I don't know if you know, but a little while back I put a PvP video up showing a new map. That's not going to be the map. That was the work in progress, obviously. Someone had managed to get in there on the test. They had fucked up. But this is what it's going to be like. So it looks pretty good. And this is the armor. So obviously all based on Deadshot. I really do think it looks smart. I love the mask. Some of the the chest and the legs look good, the hands look super duper, typical dead shot hands. Obviously you can make the colours look a lot better. And I, I don't know if you can see it here, I don't think you can, it'd be in one of the next shots. You've got a big rifle on your back, that just looks smart as fuck. There you go, look on the female again. I think I'll get a still shot of her back now. Hurry up. Anytime. There you go. Look at that rifle on the back, you know that looks good. A lot of people are going to be wearing that. Now, I don't know if many of you are interested, but we have to talk about this new CEO of, of DCU1. He is so much better than Spill. He seems to be pure enthusiastic about this game, which is only a good thing. So, let's hope that he does a load of new changes. All these changes are all down to him at the moment, so please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment as usual. Peace, people. With this, I shall make you a